Hello, my beautiful. Oh, shit. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Hello, my beautiful cappuccinos, and welcome to your love reading. There's going to be explosion in your love life, okay? Someone could be explosive over you. Because, I mean, I don't know what just happened there. Wait, one moment, please. God, I hate when the cards do this, and then, like, when you put them back together, it's, like, upside down all the way around, like, char. What is going on? But anyway, sorry, guys. Thank you so much for joining me today. Um... I forgot my intro. <laughs> um, what did I normally say? Um, thank you so much for your likes, shares, comments, and subscribes. I appreciate you. If any of you would like to book a personal reading or to purchase anything, all the information is in the description box below. And um, please make sure the energies in the readings, um, please make sure. Please remember that the energies in the readings can go vice versa, okay? So only take what resonates with your gender, social roles, you what you gotta do and leave the rest. So it's for my beautiful um cappuccino. So let's see what's coming towards you guys in love. I don't feel like the cappuccinos are focused on love because whenever I do you guys love readings, no one really watches them, the cappuccinos. Let's just see. Let's see what's coming for you guys, okay? Oh, well, okay then. We have the Mr. and the Mrs. It says commitment, life, partner, and promises. Well, okay, cappuccinos. And we have the first time. It says vulnerability, intimacy, and butterflies. Okay, so somebody could be proposing to you or this could be um the first time that somebody's talking about... um your relationship like in a serious way so you know like if you're talking to someone you're dating you're just like okay well where is this going like are we together or are we not this could be somebody's first time that they're telling you like listen you know what i really see you as like somebody who i want to spend the rest of my life with or how do you feel about marriage or how do you feel about moving in with me or how do you feel about this that and the third okay so i feel like someone is really serious about you cappuccinos or you're very serious about somebody I feel like somebody gives you butterflies or maybe you want to propose to someone and you're just really nervous about asking them or vice versa. Let's just see where this is going. Okay. Oh, we have the royals. Yes, honey. Power couple, legacy of love and divine counterparts. Very Capricorn energy. You guys will power, ambition, status, all of that. So I feel like, yes, I feel like you feel like somebody um, is like your divine counterpart like you really see you and someone else being like a true power couple you're like yeah we can make money together we look good you know you i feel like you somebody makes your um somebody makes you feel valuable and regal or this is how you see someone you see someone as your queen or your king so this is really beautiful energy or this is how someone sees you yeah we have the waiting game it says divine timing patience and the unknown yeah so we got the word here divine we've got the cha we got the word divine here twice. Okay, so someone feels like you are divine. Okay, or this is a divine pairing. I feel like somebody's waiting for the right time to, to, uh, to propose to you. Oh, this is really beautiful. I hope I'm not spoiling it. But somebody could be waiting for the right time to propose to you or um, to just talk about this. Maybe somebody wants to go into business with you or something. I don't know. I just feel like someone has a really intense sincere conversation like a heart-to-heart -heart conversation like someone wants to discuss how you make them feel how they see you in their future um i feel like somebody wants to make a promise to you i feel like with the waiting game it's like it's either you've been waiting for this conversation for a long time or you've been waiting for somebody to propose or be serious or you have no idea that this is happening okay like someone else is just waiting for the right time to say this. So please clarify the Mr. and Mrs. Now, for others of you, you could already be like um, in a marriage with someone and you just don't know what, what to expect next. You're just like, okay, well, what's, you know, is this really like, you know, like when some, everything is going well and you're just like, oh my God, is this really happening? I feel like it's really happening. It's like you, you like last year you were talking to someone, boom, now you're married, you're doing, you know, beautiful things together. You could just be coming into this realization, okay? Or for others of you, this is what's coming in. So you could be completely single. And then it's like the divine is saying like, listen, patience is a virtue. It's coming. It's, you know, you needed to be ready to receive, okay? So please clarify the Mr. and the Mrs. Okay, the Nine of Wands could be dealing with the Sagittarius. What is at the bottom of the deck? The Two of Cups. Oh, so there is love here. So for some of you, this could be somebody that you're not currently with. Maybe they want to come back, you know, because it's like the wounded warrior coming back with the your tail between your legs. But it's like, listen, could we just get back together, please? You know, I love you. I want to be. So I feel like somebody 
wants to promise that they're not going to hurt you. Now, for others of you, if there's not an ex or someone, this could be what somebody's saying. Like, they don't want to hurt you. You don't need to be on the defense with them. They, they want to take care of you. They know that you've been wounded when it comes to your love life and they're not trying to hurt you or betray you or do anything to you. Okay? For others of you, I feel like somebody could be wanting to come back to plead their case. Okay? Somebody knows that they have hurt you or... um. So maybe this is why this person wants to wait for the right time because they feel like you're going to be on the defense. Okay, yeah, with the King of Swords here. It could be dealing with Aquarius, it not have to be. But I feel like someone has been thinking about this a lot. Okay. I feel like somebody wants to have a very honest, sharp conversation with you. Now, this could be someone who you're dealing with and they always get very triggered. Okay, maybe because someone just sees how much potential you have and they... <sighs> I feel like somebody could be, like, afraid of losing you and this is why they want to propose to you or whatnot. Somebody wants to, like, solidify something here. Yeah, the Queen of Wands. Okay. I feel like somebody wants to wait to get their confidence back. Now, for some of you, you're attractive as fuck. Wait, who is this? Capricorn. So, you could be dealing with a fire sign. We've got heavy fire placements here. Um, but I feel like you're really attractive or somebody's very attracted to you. Um, like somebody just thinks you're fine. It's like, you're fine, you're divine. I need for you to stay mine, okay? Oh, I like that. That's going to be the title. What did I just say? You're fine, you're divine, you need to stay mine. Okay, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So what does this person want to say to you? I just heard you are in my thoughts and prayers. So, I don't know what that means. Somebody could be praying for this moment or... It says, pick up the damn phone. I just want to talk to you. So it could have been somebody that you blocked okay so i feel like yeah someone's waiting for the right time to speak to you because maybe someone knows that you're pissed off at them like you're just annoyed like the four of this person is like chat them but i feel like someone they see you as like they want you okay they're very serious about you so yeah i feel like the mr and mrs is more to more to do with making a promise but i do feel like for some of you this person wants to propose like i said they're very much attracted to you Okay, there's a lot of heat, fire, chemistry, passion. Okay, I feel like someone thinks you're feisty and they just, they love that. And it says, yeah, yes, I am jealous. Yes, I am possessive. I just, who did I just do? Um, Virgo, and they got that similar energy. So some, some of you could be dealing with a Virgo or have significant Virgo placements. But yeah, like I said, I don't feel like, I feel like someone wants you to be theirs forever because they're very possessive over you. But I feel like with the... um. I feel like you make someone feel a bit insecure with the nine of wands here because maybe you're very sexy and attractive and confident. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, someone is like afraid that you're going to like move on. We have the chariot here. So they want to reconcile with the three of cups. Okay. But I'm also getting with the queen of wands in the waiting game. Someone's trying to build up the confidence to say what it is that they want to say. Now, maybe the thought of marriage or commitment is a bit like... Mm, for someone not for you though because i mean you're a capricorn maybe you have fire sign placements or maybe the thought of like being with this person you say like, i don't know about this person you know they're a bit too fiery for me you know i'm like a chill <laughs> you know what's that like someone's gonna propose to you and then it's like it's all sweet and romantic and then they just like are you gonna marry me or what like they just pop off it's like me you're gonna have to sort yourself out mate <laughs> oh okay anyway someone's jealous and possessive over you and they want you to be yours okay or they want you to be theirs or whatever okay i need to go <laughs> thank you so much i hope you guys enjoyed the reading please don't hesitate um oh no wait i forgot to do how do they view you Sorry, if you're a Virgo watching this, I forgot to do that in your reading. I've been adding this in. How, how are they viewing you? How's this person viewing you? Shit, I forgot to do it in Virgos. Never mind. Rehabilitation and becoming nobody. Yeah. So I feel like someone feels that you have disconnected from them. Okay. Like you are kind of in your healing phase right now. You're not speaking to them. So yeah, so someone's trying to someone's trying to wait for the right time because they know that they have hurt you. 
okay so maybe you went cold on this person you cut them off or vice versa so they have to tread carefully they have to tread lightly because they can see that you're like very well protected in your healing you're chilling so it's like don't be trying to come back into my life to disturb my peace okay with your fucking fiery ass energy okay but anyway thank you so much i hope you guys enjoyed the reading please don't hesitate to like share comment subscribe bye